Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever tried a Sambal? You know what a Sambal is? Uh, well, you're going to learn about one today and I've got a really good one, an authentic Malaysian uh, Sambal to review for you guys today. Now I just love uh, different types of hot and spicy products uh, and I've tried many, many different types of products. Uh, you know, I bought these commercially at international stores such as a, uh, I love a hot chili sauce something like that. Um, I've also tried a lot of uh, uh, chili saute paste, you know, things like that. Uh, so I'm very familiar with uh, different types of products like this, but I'm telling you the one I'm going to be reviewing today uh, just blows these away. It is so good. And that is uh, uh, Aurea's Malaysian Kitchen. I'm going to be starting off with her hot chili sambal. It says here, an all-natural, small-batch produced product. This is made up in Brooklyn, New York. Now, this is sent to me from the owner, Aria Abraham. There's a picture of her right there. I want to share a little bit about her from the uh, website. I'm not going to take the time to read all of this, but I wanted to share some of this. She's made quite a name for herself up in Brooklyn. Uh, she first came to the uh, U.S. back in the early 90s. But it says, Aria was born and raised in a tiny town called... Sarimban in Malaysia. She grew up surrounded by the delicious cuisine of her hometown and soaked up the diverse culinary inspiration that reflected the multi-ethnic makeup of the people of Malaysia. In her mother's kitchen, she learned how to cook the sumptuous curries, delectable noodle dishes, and various exquisite meat and seafood preparations with Chinese, Indian, Malay, and Portuguese influences. Over time, she mastered the use of the plethora of Southeast Asian spices and herbs, fenugreek, and brown mustard and seafood and vegetable dishes, cinnamon, cardamom and cloves and meat dishes, uh, galangal, fennel, and fresh turmeric to flavor sauces and marinades. So I think Aria knows exactly what she's doing. Um, she's done a lot uh, with cooking up there and she also was, uh, back in two th 2014, she actually competed on the Food Network's Chopped, uh, but unfortunately was, she was chopped after the entry round, but continues to cook very quickly in her kitchen in anticipation of whatever competition, uh, competitive opportunities might arise. Now, her mission is to bring the, dis the distinct and wonderfully diverse flavors of Malaysia within reach of every passion at home cook with a taste for adventure. All right, now it's just products like this that I just absolutely love. Uh, this is the real deal. Uh, let me go ahead and get into this. Now here on the side, well, before I do, let me uh, read what it says on her website about what is a sambal. A sambal is to Malaysian Malaysians what ketchup is to Americans. The word sambal refers to a condiment of ground spices and aromatics with the key ingredient being fresh red chilies that is served either cooked or raw. Aria's Malaysian Kitchen's Hot Chili Sambal is a delicious hot cooked sambal featuring the distinct umami of dried shrimp. All right. It is made from a family recipe the way my mother made it in her kitchen. All right. I don't want to repeat too much of that, but uh, it says I make it from my mother's recipe, staying faithful to her methods. I like it as a condiment on eggs in the morning and as an ingredient in stir fries and other dishes the rest of the time. I bet you'll find a thousand creative ways to use it. I find you'll share your creations with me via email. All right. Now the ingredients on this, we start off with fresh chilies. I don't know what chilies those are, uh, but fresh chilies, dried chilies, canola oil, garlic, sugar, fermented shrimp paste, salt, and vinegar. All right. That comes in these nice... Uh, eight ounce size jars. All right, let me show you what this looks like. This stuff is just absolutely amazing. Um, the aroma is just to die for. This is umami. Um, it's just incredible. So rich. Um, and it's really, really thick, um, really kind of pasty. Let me show you what this looks like. So it's not swimming in oil, as you can see there. So it's very very thick. It's got those dark um, dry chilies and fresh chilies in here. 
a little bit of oiliness, of course, coming from the, um, did I say canola? Yeah, canola oil. But just an awesome texture. Doesn't that look good? All right, well, here we go. Let me go ahead and do a little uh, taste test for you guys. Put a little on a spoon. Wow. I just love this stuff straight, but it's rich. It's concentrated. It's a little bit spicy. For the chili head, it's not going to be real, real spicy. But I'm telling you, this stuff is incredible. This is the real deal. So much better than the, the stuff that I've tried, you know, from the um, international markets. Um, really, really fresh tasting. <coughs> Getting a, a little bit spicy here. But uh, just an amazing product. Let me show you a couple of things I did with this. Um, it is good on eggs in the morning. Put this on a burger. Put this on, I'm telling you, anything. It's just incredible. Um, but the first thing I used to cook this up with was a chicken chicken and broccoli uh, stir fry, uh, which was just awesome. Just to put that on the top and kind of mixed it in. Use this as a cooking ingredient. Use it as a dip. Use it as a spread. Um, I think this would be awesome on sandwiches mixed up with you know a little bit of mayo. I mean, you could do so many things with this, but it is so good straight out of the jar. Uh, another thing I did, I came home one day and Myung had cooked up some of her uh, pan-fried Korean yakimandu, some beef um, yakimandu, the fried fried dumplings. And uh, there's a picture there. Just put this on top, and it's just incredible. Really, really great stuff. Um, just amazing. You got to try this stuff. If you really want a true, authentic Malaysian sambal, now that's where I believe they originated from over there. Now, there's many different types of sambals. I think I counted 40-something if you uh, look at Wikipedia. So there's many different variations in how they make it. But this is Aria's Malaysian interpretation, <coughs> excuse me, the way her mother did it. And it's absolutely delicious. Uh, flavored 10 out of 10, uh, strong 10 out of 10, just amazing stuff, awesome. And on heat, um, I think it's about in the middle. I think I'll give it a 5 out of 10, 4 to 5. I'll give it a 5 out of 10, just about a nice medium heat and burn coming from this one. But Aria, incredible product. Thanks for all you do. Uh, guys, check her out on Facebook at uh, Aria's Malaysian Kitchen. And you can uh, find her exactly at that, ariasmalaysiankitchen.com is the website. Link will be down in the description. Now stay tuned for another awesome product review where I, I review her lime leaf sambal. Absolutely amazing. So make sure you stay tuned for that review. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more. And until the next time, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.